okay next is next topic is native vlan double tagging okay that is uh, double tagging it is nothing but an attack okay it's an attack okay it is a type of attack you know as as we said before vlan hoping attack so one of a type of vlan hoping attack we said in the uh, native vlan topic vlan hoping attack is there the attacker will hope that means he will test for different different vlan and he will at last will get the what he will get the native vlan okay and uh, what he will do what the mandatory thing for the double tagging is it should be connected to the native vlan okay attacker already got our native vlan information he is connected to our native vlan he got our information and what he will do he, uh, that is uh, he will only send the data in unidirectional because the double tagging is punishing as unidirectional only unidirectional it will not get a remove uh, hit from the server and it will not come back why you uh, you want to know it is unidirectional as okay how an attacker can attack with unidirectional data okay there is a attack called d of d of s r also d o d o s that means denial of service that means the attacker continuously send the data continuously send the data and make our server busy and make our server busy and he will not can, he cannot reply to the genuine customers or genuine people so the attacker will continuously send the data and make our server busy okay by this double tagging attack okay now first how attacker can can reach our server how he is making uh, that advantage how he is working okay first you want to understand our switch has a default behavior okay our switch has a default behavior regarding tagging and tag removal tagging i said vlan information we will tag by dot one q or isl since we uh, since the native vlan support uh, dot one q we will uh, use dot one q here and how the tagging and tag removal is happening in switch that we want to know first we want to know that we want mini switch us only remove only one tag at a time only one tag at a time that means if i have uh, three tag also if attacker created three tag also the switch only remove one tag switch only remove one tag that is the thing switch only remove the one tag okay that you want to know this point is very important here okay what is ha actually happening in this attack the attacker attacker have our what native vlan have our native vlan and what he will do he will if we came to know about our internal network he will add that inside our what inside our uh, vlan that means double tag he will add two two tag that is inside inner inner vlan id as the internal network id and the native vlan uh, as the outer okay what is actually happening as i said as i said the native vlan is an untagged frame okay he he do not have any tag information okay so when it passes from the switch one to switch two what is happening okay when it passes from the switch one to switch two he will not add any tag for what he will not add any tag for our native vlan but the attacker is already injected our internal server vlan inside that so the switch switch one will think that the thing the message from the attacker we want to pass to the vlan 10 okay because the uh, it's already coming from the vlan one but it is not tagging means the switch one will think that ah there is no tag and it is uh, it is but but there is a tag regarding vlan 10 that is our internal network okay that is uh, uh, this uh, this traffic is regarding to our internal server and we want to pass that to internal server the switch will think like that and when it move to the switch 2 it will remove the first trip first trip that means it will use that information to send to the the server got the idea like this the attack is happening like this the attack is happening okay and how how we can solve this problem that is the next next question how we can solve this problem how we can remove this attack okay mitigate this attack okay that is it is done by simply by we want to add a what i said that it can remove only one tag okay but remove only one tag okay so it's easy to remove this attack by simply adding an 
tag to our native VLAN guy. Simply adding a tag to our native VLAN. I said that it is uh, there is no uh, there is no tag for the native VLAN by default. But we can add a tag. We can add, add a tag for the native VLAN. Oh, at that time, what the what, how we can solve that? You can see here. If I add a native VLAN tag, when it passes to the switch one, there will be a tag for our native VLAN. VLAN, VLAN one, VLAN one. There will be a tag for the native VLAN. When it passes to the switch, when it passes to the switch two, what he will do? Uh, the VLAN ten will be there. I'll, uh, you want to know that when it passed to switch 1 to switch 2 he will remove the first vlan tag only he cannot remove he cannot take the vlan 10 information that mean that means he he will not he cannot access that attacker cannot access now to our internal network you got the idea to our internal network he will, he will not access why why because it only remove only remove only remove one dot one q tag that means it only remove our vlan native vlan id that means it only take the information of native vlan id and he can pass to the native vlan id of switch 2 but he cannot pass to our what internal server you got the idea okay if you have any doubt just uh, ping me okay Okay, thank you. That's all about VLAN, native VLAN double tagging.